I just love YouTube where you can find gold nuggets like this. The Michael Dees group is playing an arrangement of Kenny Dorham's Escapade. Michael plays an amazing solo and I got especially interested in this pattern. Though it often sounds modern and intricate, the building blocks are more simple than you think. So in this case it's a major triad starting in C, which he moves down in half steps. Now if we add a chromatic approach note to the fifth, Start from the top, go down to the bottom, and then up again. Then we have the pattern. What makes this pattern sound a bit more complicated is that we start two notes before the downbeat. So. Um, Now let's listen to Michael play it one more time. Pretty cool, right? And it sounds better the faster you play it, <laughs> within reason. I suggest starting in B flat major and go down a few half steps, because then you have the whole uh, arpeggio in the same position. So you don't have to think as hard and move the slide around as much. Once you climb upwards in the register, the arpeggios aren't as symmetrical anymore. So the way to apply a pattern like this is to consider where you start and most importantly where you end up. And what happens in between isn't as important. You don't have to think about clashing chords or anything like that because the melody of the pattern in movement just takes over. So Michael starts in C. It's actually a C minor chord. So I first heard um, C minor triad, but I have transcribed this very slowly and also studied the slide movements, so he is playing a C major triad, but it kind of gives it a C7 sharp 9 sound almost. And then he resolves into G flat uh, major 7, or it's almost like a B flat minor sound. So just like in any story, the beginning and the end are most important. In this video you can enjoy Michael D's group's full performance and uh, in this video I break down an interesting Woody Shaw phrase. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.